go for it, Lewis. All right. I see here recording, so that's great. Uh, anyway, my name is Lewis Muse. I'm from Southern Tape of Nova Scotia. I just want to welcome everybody to the uh, Saturday training call. Uh, great to see everybody and connect with everybody from, from, from different parts of the world. Uh, before I forget, uh, I did get a call late last night from Frank, and he told me that Eric is going to uh, have a couple of announcements at the end of the call. So just sit tight at the end here, and we'll let uh, Eric share with us, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's, com what's coming down the pipe. Uh, I first heard about Aegea uh, last summer. Uh, I talked to Frank Mueller. Uh, it probably had been about 10 or 12 days about something else. And I was using a product. I thought, I want to give Frank and Terry a call and let them know about the product that I had found. And uh, so within a few minutes, Frank said, well, I'm going to share something with you. And so he starts telling me about what has happened to him. Uh, in a very short time, were in these patches that had energy. And I had been reading about energy products. As a matter of fact, I've got some here uh, that I've used in the past. And so I let him uh, uh, share with me uh, what he had found. He, he mentioned this the other day. I said, yeah. He said, you know what? You never did send me the information on that other product. Uh, I was quite intrigued as to what Frank was telling me. I've known Frank probably, I don't know, 16, 17 years. I'm not even sure how we met originally. Uh, we did meet face-to-face -face in Atlanta, Georgia at the end of September. But uh, I noticed first thing was kind of a change of a, uh, a tone in his voice. He, he sounded different. And um, so uh, lo and behold, long story short, he says, I said, send me the website. Uh, I ordered some products, and uh, while I was waiting for the products, probably the next two or three days, I shared it with probably three or four people. They ordered products, and uh, kind of the rest is, is history. Uh, it seemed to take six months for me to get the product, but it was like two or three weeks at the time. And I remember the products came in on a Tuesday afternoon. I put these on about, I think it was around 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. And I stuck the quantum card in my pocket, and I live outside of town. I live in the country here. I went to town, picked up a couple of things, and I was coming back. It was about 5, 5, 5, 15. And when I got off the highway, I realized that I felt different. I said, this is different. There is something. It, it was this amazing, amazing calming effect. Uh, and at that time, I was going through a, a really hard time in my life. I'd lost my wife uh, the year before, and I was struggling with different things. And I, I, I felt, I just felt at peace. I slept really, really well. The next day, uh, it, it was just amazing. So, uh, Frank, uh, thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, my hat's off to Eric and to Jeff and all these people that have put this together. Uh, totally, totally amazing. Uh, anyway, Frank, I'm going to give you the floor and uh, you go ahead and share with us what you have uh, found and, and, and how you're, you're building. Frank has been a great sponsor. He's always there. Also, my hat goes off to Kara, who heads up customer service. Uh, with all the issues we had, in the, especially in the beginning, uh, Kara's always been there. It's great meeting you, Kara. And uh, Frank, go ahead. Well, I appreciate that. And I do appreciate everybody for showing up here on a Saturday. You could be doing a lot of things, but we're really glad that you decided to share some of your time with us. What I'd like to do is just to maybe give some of the people, especially the brand newest people, the people that haven't started their businesses here, some kind of an inkling of some things, minor things that they can do along the way. And I think I can maybe do a lot of that by just sharing my story. Not only my testimony for the product, but also the uh, story of my of my network marketing career. For you to understand that, you got to understand one other thing about me. I was one of those guys that spent over 20 years uh, in the in the U.S. U.S. military. I was one of those guys that ran around all over the Middle East and the Western bulge of Africa with a green beret on my head. And after 20 and a half years, I had had some mishaps, some accidents and stuff like that. And they finally said, you can't do this anymore. And they medical retired me at 20 and a half years. 
and I'll get to why in just a minute. Because my network marketing career actually started while I was in the military. I was in the military from 78 through 98. Anyway, in the 80s, I got involved in network marketing. I was sold the idea and the dream that I could do some work while I wasn't deployed, and I was gone over half my time uh, in, in the service in other places. But I could do some work when I was at home and get paid residually on that. And when I come back, I'd have a check and that would be really cool. I thought, well, that is the way to make some side income because the military sure wasn't paying me very much. With that being beside the point, I went in, I spent $5,000 on this company. And I, I was so on it, I was gonna go out and do it. And six weeks later, everybody on my upline went to another company. I'm like, you've got to be kidding. And they wanted to spend, to have me spend another five grand on their deal, I, I, I threw them out of my house. That's what I did. Anyway, I decided, okay, I got $5,000 of the product here. I better learn something. Well, I did learn how to sell it. It was easily demonstrable. It worked, so I was able to sell it. The thing is, is I had no more upline. I've contacted the company, asked them, hey, who is it? They told me some big wig. They never contacted me, but they did send me a, a box of, of, of videotapes and, and manuals and stuff on the company, and I never heard from them. So there I was. I learned how to sell. I then learned to show it to other people and get them the idea that they could do this. So I sponsored 11 people, and that's as far as my organization went because I didn't know how to teach them how to sponsor nobody. And therefore, never got the residual income after about two years had sold all that product plus some more. I decided that was too much of a job. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I did some really fun things like go cut trees down and that kind of stuff for side business or run pizzas for Domino's when I was home. Anyway, two and a half, three years later, I was approached again about network marketing. And it took me a month for me to even decide whether or not I was going to do that one or not. And I did. I'm glad I did because I was involved in that company for about four and a half years when we, when the company uh, uh, owner actually pulled the rug out from underneath of us. Uh, we were at the next to the highest level in that company and that's where I started to learn network marketing. After being in that company for a short period of time, I ran across somebody that became my mentor. And he had nothing to do with my upline, my sideline. He wasn't in the company, but he was a hired trainer. And he's somebody that I melded with. And because he saw me take what he told me to do, and I did it, he spent time and we created a great relationship, and I have contact with him to this day. Understand, he made over $8 million in his first three years of network marketing. This is in the late 70s and uh, 78, 79, 80, I think it was, 81. And that kind of money back then was pretty awesome. And, and now he's a trainer. So we bonded well, and he taught me network marketing, the nuances, the things that made the difference between selling a few products and sponsoring somebody and creating an organization. And that was what I wanted. I, I finally found what I needed and that was to learn how to create an organization to get the residual income that I wanted so that when I was deployed, I came back and we had money. Company went away. Company owner killed it, right? Well, went immediately into another company. And at that time, I had just met my wife, Terry. The two of us built that company in 17 months to the top level of the company. Uh, at that point in time, I had been uh, hurt so many times that they wanted me out of the service. So they put me out of the service. I made somewhere around $2,400, $2,500 that month in the, in the military that they put me out and made about 10 times that from my little side business and network marketing. The nice thing is I had found my freedom. I found that I didn't have to say yes or no sir to people that I didn't respect anymore. That I was able to work uh, for myself, but not by myself, you know? And we had a great team. And Terry and I made a great team in that company. And she'd drive south, I'd go north. Anyway, with all that being said, uh, the years go by, you have good uh, things happen to you, you have bad things happen to you. Well, for the last five, six years, We've been totally retired down here in Florida. We have a beautiful place. We're surrounded uh, by water on three sides of us. I mean, 
great place to live. We have our sentries. Some people call them gators, you know, the all around us that, that, that protect us. We don't have to worry about, you know, intruders coming in at all. Uh, with, with that being said, uh, so, so something else happened while we were here. And that, that was my, my injuries that I had uh, to my back got worse. Uh, you see, the last time I actually have my bottom three uh, discs or, 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 or pushed together, crushed together, and I have another one that's damaged uh, in my uh, back, and, and things just sort of got worse, and sitting for any length of time hurt. Riding in a vehicle more than a couple hours was almost crippling. It got to the point about 18 months ago that just lying down in bed was like knives sticking me in my lower back. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to sleep standing up, and I've done that a couple of times on a couple of patrols in the deserts and jungles, but uh, it's not a fun thing to do. So, what I do? You go to the surgeon, you go to the VA surgeon, the VA looks at it, they do one procedure, does no good, they bring me back in, they now want to burn all the uh, nerves around my bottom vertebrae, and they said, it almost had me sold on that. And then they tell me, oh, by the way, you'll have to have it redone. I'm like, what do you mean redone? And they said, well, every six months to two years, the nerves are going to grow back and you're going to have to go through this process again. And I looked at them, I said, y'all are absolutely nuts. What's the choice though? Take the pills. So they give you drugs. I hate taking drugs, but every once in a while, and it was so bad, you'd have to take them. Now, one other thing that happened to me. About three years ago, I was real lucky, I guess, that I started waking up with these horrific, violent dreams. I was uh, stabbing people, I was telling people, my background was coming back to me, uh, scaring the heck out of uh, my, my better half. I thought the dreams would go away and I was only getting about an hour and a half of sleep a night. Well, that didn't get happen. After about three months, I reached out to the VA. Wanted to know what was going on. In their infinite wisdom, they canceled my appointment three times. Three months later, I get to see them six months hour and a half a night of sleep each night, well, basically, that's it. So I looked pretty messed up, I guess, when I got in there. So at that point, I did see a whole bunch of doctors and psychiatrists and stuff. And anyway, they called me in one day and uh, a guy looks across the desk from me. He says, you do know that you have, and it was uh, something that had to do with uh, some horrific things that, that happened to me in the, uh, in the past. And then he said, you know, this is why you're also having these other issues during the day. And it's why you used to be able to talk in front of 10,000 plus people. And now you can't be around two without getting agitated. And it's why you're having these dreams and you can't sleep and uh, you don't have any energy during the day. And I'm like, great, you know what it is, fix me, even though I don't understand why after 18 years, something like this would come back to haunt me because it didn't bother me when I was doing it. It was my job. And he's like, we don't know why this happens. We just know that for some people, it takes time for their background to catch up. And that's what's happened to you. Great. 10 days later, get three drugs in the mail. I look at them. I go to Google because I can't even pronounce these things. I look at how horrific those side effects are. Next doctor's appointment, come back, put them on his table. Say, hey, look, I'm not doing these drugs. I'm just not going to. They're, 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 you know, you're trading in one side effect for another pro problem and just not going to do it. Long story short, that's how I lived for the next two and a half years. Then a friend of mine called me up and he said, Frank, I no longer have the severe discomfort that I used to have in my back from falling off the roof. And I'm like, how did that happen? We've spent thousands of dollars trying to figure that one out. And he says, look, the new product, I want you to take a look at it. I think it'll work for you. Great. I went, I looked at it. I sort of kept up with the uh, energy concept to a small degree. So I understood what they were talking about. Didn't know if it worked for me, but I figured, what have I got left to lose other than the severe discomfort that I have? So, got the product in. I opened it up, and I laughed at it, guys. I absolutely laughed at it. I thought it was the silliest thing that they, I had ever seen, that I was going to take these couple of little uh, qubit thing, holograms, stick it on either side of my damaged vertebrae, but I wasn't going to hurt no more. Are you kidding me? 
this is, uh, what did I waste my money on? And then I said, well, I did spend some money, so I might as well at least do exactly what they tell me to do and prove them wrong. And that's how I started. Well, that night, instead of the stabbing pain, I had this real dull, aching, pounding pain. Wasn't any better, it was just different. Wife in the morning would always ask me, how was your pain? Because she knew the nights were the worst for me. The nice thing is, is every day she'd ask me and every day it got better. And then about the fifth uh, uh, morning, she asked me that question. I said, you know, I, 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 I didn't have any discomfort whatsoever last night. Still got these bad, nasty dreams, but I don't hurt. Maybe we're halfway there. A couple of days later, I realized or found out that uh, Eric Swim was the uh, uh, vice president of the company. Now, he's someone that I met back in the mid-90s through a, 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 a mutual friend, another big network marketer. Uh, so I didn't know him well, but we had met each other a couple of times. Anyway, I called him. I had a cell phone number. I called him, and he answers his phone. We get caught up, and I tell him, look, Eric, you got a customer for life. I don't have any more of this discomfort in my back. And this is what happened. I told him the whole story. He's like excited, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, then I had to tell him about the other issues though that I had, you know, with the, the, the dreams and all of that stuff. And he said, didn't anybody tell you about that other product that came in your, your pouch? And I'm like, no, not really. And I didn't know enough to, to do anything with it. And he says, look, Take the other hologram. I want you to put one up underneath either your left or your right collarbone. It'll help you uh, get some sleep. It'll, it'll maybe help you with those agitations you're having through the day and, and, and you know, help you with those dreams and, and, and have more energy and clarity of mind. And I'm like, you don't understand my dreams. <laughs> so with that being said, what did I do? I put one up underneath my left uh, uh, shoulder blade. That night, I slept for like five hours with no other drugs in my system. Now, that doesn't sound like much to most people, but to me, it was a world. It was most I'd had in two and a half years or more. The next night, I had 10 hours of sleep. My wife tells me when I came downstairs that she had gone up twice just to check to see if I was still breathing. Ever since that time, I have slept six to eight hours a night. I haven't got the intense discomfort from the crushed bones in my back. I don't have the nasty dreams anymore. I'm not agitated most times. I don't have any of the dreams, so I don't scare the heck out of my better half anymore. Now, those are all good things. So after a couple of weeks of this continuing is when Lewis actually called me and started sharing and we shared back and forth. But anyway, he got in the that was on the 9th, I think, of, of, of June, because on the 10th, he calls me up and he says, why didn't you call me? I'm like, I just talked to you the other day. What the heck, over? And he says, well, I signed up. I figured you'd call me and I got a couple of other people that want to sign up. And I'm like, I wasn't watching. I wasn't paying attention. And so oh, Terry and I sit down, we have discussion. We decide, well, okay, we're going to go for this and, and, and share this. There's a lot of people out there that could, that could utilize this product. So Lewis came in on the 10th. We started talking to people on the 30th of June. We had qualified, uh, uh, had, had the people in place for Platinum Elite. How did we do that? I got on the phone. I took massive action. I talked to anybody I could get a hold of. Hadn't done marketing in a long time. Bad phone numbers, bad email addresses, everything. Some people don't remember you. <laughs> so all these things can happen. But we decided, look, if it was worth doing, it was worth doing fast, hard, and it was just made, us being made up to do that kind of a thing. I'm not saying anybody else has to do that. You know what? If you talk to one person today and one person tomorrow, you can build this deal. And that's how you build network marketing. That's a secret. You have to do something. And if you do something, something good will happen for you. Now, if that's all there is to it, why isn't there more people that actually do it? Because I think they're afraid to reach out to somebody in their upline that have a great story already or sharing their own story if they have a great story and just get them to help them, 
to talk to people for them. And all you have to do is get excited, to get somebody else excited and put them on the phone with somebody. That's it. It's our job to help you after that. But you just got to take that little baby step. And you know what? It's really fun to help people succeed in this business. It's not about you and having success and achieving. It's about helping other people do that. And that was really sort of neat thing just happened to me is uh, I had been reacquainted from somewhere. I don't even know where uh, I, I, I had uh, had this guy's information. He had been worked with me many, many years ago with something. And I can't tell you what it is. Uh, he's a, uh, was an insurance sales guy. And by the way, while I was working with him here in the last uh, few months, he turned 74 years old. And in fact, he turned 74 years old in his first 90 days here in Aegea and achieved the platinum elite level in less than 90 days. That guy's name is Keith Bradford. And I'd really like to have Keith come on and share with you for about five minutes about how he did it. How did he come out, get back into network marketing and go to the top in less than 90 days? So Keith, are you there? You do have to unmute yourself, Keith. Well, Mr. Keith All Bradford. Right. Well, hey guys, I, I lost the Zoom meeting just as Frank was ending his chat. Uh, do you hear me now? Sure do. Hello? Hello? We can hear you. You got me? Okay, thank you. Well, um, this is, this is uh, a, a really great opportunity for me, and uh, I want to thank you all, and particularly Frank, for the call uh, he gave me the first part of November. And on the 8th, I believe, I ordered my first order with the GIA. And today, uh, I made some notes uh, just a moment ago because I was dislocated from my home with an internet challenge that hit me without me realizing. But often at this time of the month, I lose my bandwidth so that my, I cannot even pull up my email and, uh, or my AGEA account. But I made my way over to a donut shop, which I'd been in before, using their Wi-Fi to uh, be here on this call in time. And uh, I'd like to just say some things that have made a difference to me in my life that certainly became uh, very useful to uh, recall these things. And one thing was about joining a, uh, a business as opposed to joining a club. Which, uh, I've done that pretty much in that club, but uh, I, I joined a business. I joined my business and I hired the first person was me and put me to work in my business, in his business. If you want to take from first person, I think it's very important to know the difference. And then uh, am I building a team or am I building a social group? You know, what do I want? I want a business team. I don't want a social group. I didn't join this so I can fraternize and have fellowship. <laughs> I want fellowship and I'm enjoying a lot of fellowship with all of you, Lewis now, in my group of friends. And I'm so happy to be introduced to Lewis through Frank and Terry, and Terry are on my team as my upline. And like Lewis said, we couldn't have a better sponsor than Frank Mueller. I've had many sponsors in 40 years in network marketing experiences some of which were very successful and some, most of them were not. But the sponsorship was important in every one of them. And then the quality of that sponsor and, and the support and the frequency of, of, of encouragement and, and helpful things, this has been a real blessing for me. And again, thank you, Frank. <clears throat> but overcoming challenges is something that we must do in business. And if we've joined a business, then we have challenges like everyone does every day of their life. And we make choices to overcome those challenges so that we can conduct business. 
And I think it's very important to realize that you just got to get good at overcoming challenges. Just like today, I had no car, no internet. And so I walked to a donut shop because I knew where it was to conduct my business. As I'm sitting here now, they gave me a back room in their shop here. <laughs> so here we go, right? We're, we're in business. Now, there's 10, 10 two-letter words that I learned 30 years ago or more. I'd like to share this for notes. Ten two-letter words. If it is to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that, what he meant to say was, if it's to be, it's up to be. And I think that Mr. Keith just lost his so uh, internet. Is, send us our product up to me. <laughs> Hello? Pardon me? All right, you came back, Keith. Oh, you, I lost myself? That doesn't surprise me. Let me give you <laughs> another quote that I want you to hear me say. Miracles can happen if we can expect them to happen. Do you agree with that? Miracles can happen if we expect them to happen. But if we don't even expect it to happen, it won't probably happen. Sometimes they happen in spite of what we think about. But if we're kind of anticipating something happen miraculously in our lives, it can. Okay, so we are transformed through the renew renewing of our mind. And that leads me to my, my next big part of my health. In my life, I learned medic chemo brain. <laughs> I knew I was crazy for years. But chemo made me crazier than I ever dreamed I'd be. And I just got past, I think, the last of the detoxification from chemo in the use of the Agea products. That's a strong, strong point in my testimony, Frank. And you know what I'm saying. Chemo brain gone is a thing that lets me have back my thinking the way I want my thinking to be and let me think about the things and say the things that I want to say with the voice inflection and with the feelings that I truly have. That's made a huge difference. And it was timing because it was along about the time that Frank called that I was looking for ways to purify my body, to get healthy again post chemo. Well, Agia has helped me achieve that. And I've told just a few people in the last 30 days this, Frank, because I didn't realize that that was a step that was taking time with the use of these products, but it worked for me. And I encourage anyone else to think of that, to purify, get rid of the metals, the toxins that we have in our body with these products. When I learned that as part of the training that we have, my gosh, all I want to do is teach. All I want to do is share. So it's a matter of touching hundreds of people, like you say, Frank, just get the word out and then be the best that I can be to get the correct words at the proper time in somebody's life and let them have a chance like you've had Frank and Lewis and on and on. Dr. Joe, your first testimony on my first conference calls I listened to, Joe, thank you, young man. A medical doctor with that kind of faith and belief in these products and faith, you know, is, is believing in something yet unseen. And I hadn't seen it down here in Louisiana. But I had some coming and I put them on me and Frank got me familiar with the quantum card, and I believe. Car? I think Keith has had a, a, a final problem with his internet, so what I really would have loved for that to have uh, finished up and had him do a uh, awesome way. I really, Keith, are you back? That's not. Well, what we do need we need to do because we're at our thirty-minute mark now. Is we do need to go to some awesome uh, introductions that we're going to have. 
uh, by our vice president, actually. He's a man that has uh, been a leader in network marketing and now leading in, in this company. And it's one of the two primary uh, people in this company that I can trust and, and put my faith behind. So anyway, uh, Mr. Eric Swain, take it away. All right, good morning, everybody. And I'm gonna tell you how exciting it is to be on this call today and look around this room and see all the people, all the dedicated people from around the world that have taken time away from their families to be here today. That is truly, truly exciting uh, for me uh, to be a part of this and, and just to see where we're going with Aegea. And you know, Frank, Lewis, Keith, I wanna thank the three of you guys. Um, if there's a vision of a true leader, uh, each one of you guys, um, is a, a true visionary and we are blessed here to, at Aegea to have you all associated with us. So, you know, I thank you all uh, for your leadership. Uh, Keith, what you did uh, with everything going on in your first 90 days and becoming Platinum Elite, totally phenomenal job and looking forward to big, big things happening to you uh, as we move forward here at Aegea. But before I get started, I've got I've got four major announcements that I'm going to be making. So, you know, you've got a few minutes if you want to try to reach out and, and tell some people that may not be here that they may want to jump on this, uh, this call before it's over with to hear what we're going to be announcing here uh, before we all leave today. But before I do that, I've got some things that I'd like to talk about and I kind of want to speak from the heart today um, because, you know, during our startup phase with Aegea. Like any other company out there that's just getting started, we've had our challenges. It hasn't uh, all been rosy days. Um, you know, we've probably been met with more challenges than, uh, than we should have uh, ever had come our way. But the great thing about it is we met each challenge that was thrown our way and that was placed in front of us. And we're able to get over those challenges and move forward. And we weren't able to do that just because of the leadership team that we have here at GIA. If we didn't have the phenomenal affiliates around the world working hand in hand with us, we'd never be where we're at today. In my opinion, a GIA probably has some of the best affiliates and family of any company that I've ever been associated with in my 27 years of being in this industry. Back when I first took a look at Aegea and was trying to make a decision if this was something that I actually wanted to get involved with, you know, I had to do my due diligence. I had to check out, see what Jeff Cohen was all about, you know, check out some of the other board members to see what they were all about. And it didn't take me long to realize that the ownership here at Aegea were here for a reason. They were here not to just make a dollar. Any one of these guys could have retired many years ago. But we talked and we all wanted to be able to come in and bring something new to the market and truly go out and change lives. Now we've all been met with the naysayers out there. I get phone calls every day from people challenging the ethics of Aegea. And I just want everyone to know that I stand 100% behind Aegea. I stand 100% behind Jeff Cohen. And I stand 100% behind each and every dedicated affiliate that we have here at Aegea Energenics. And I'm here to let you know that we're not going to let anyone stand in our way of being the most successful MLM company in history. Now, we've had people that said that Aegea would never make it through their first year. Aegea has too many issues. Well, I'm happy to tell each and every one of you today that Aegea Energenics is having a celebration. As of today, we are celebrating our one year anniversary here at Aegea. 
So I want to thank each and every one of you that held a hand with us in making us a success. So I've got one word for all the naysayers out there. You can either join with us and become a huge success, or you need to step to the side because Aegea is going nowhere but to the top. So you have my guarantee and Jeff's guarantee that we're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that we're here for a long, long time. So with that being said, I've got four announcements that I'd like to make today. The first announcement is, we are now in the development process of putting together our field advisory board for the 2019 year. So if you feel that you have what it takes and you would like to join Jeff and I in being a part of the advisory board for AGEA, then it's gonna take dedication. First of all, you need to be a platinum elite with us and you need to be dedicated solely to the success of AGEA. And if you feel like you would like to speak with me about being a part of this advisory board, I ask that you take the time and send me an email at erics at agia.com so that we can speak. Number two, we have had huge success with our new burn product. And I can't tell you how many phone calls I've had from individuals wanting to know when will this product be available for auto ship. Well, effective March the 1st, the burn product will now be available in your back office as one of your auto ship options. Number three, we ran a promotion a while back with our quantum card that was a huge success with buy one and get one. And I have had hundreds and hundreds of calls wanting to know, will we ever bring that back? So for a limited time, effective today, it is now live in your back office, and this will run through March the 8th. You will be able to purchase a quantum card and receive another quantum card for $375. This is a $423 savings to the affiliate. Now this offer is only available to affiliates. It's in your back office and it's effective now. And number four, and this is very exciting to me and I know it's gonna be very exciting to you as affiliates, effective today. The binary pay is being moved up to 15% for all affiliates starting at the bronze level. We are dedicated to our affiliates. We are moving forward in a big, big way. But I just want each and every one of you to know how important that you are to us and that we're a true team and family and we're not going to let anybody stand in our way. So with that, Frank, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys and you can close out the call for the day. All right. Well, that was uh, awesome. I mean, I, I guess I was real easy to just to sort of uh, uh, cover up everything that uh, I said is not nothing compared to what uh, you just gave everybody to be able to build their businesses. And I'll tell you what, I'm one of those that uh, are is definitely wanting to have that uh, quantum card special again. In fact, I, I think I told you or somebody else that if that came back, I'd buy two more right out of the gate. So that's today, I guess. Anyway, we really do appreciate everybody for coming onto the call. I know we had a couple of little hiccups with internet connection, but you know what? You persevere and you'll, 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 you'll make it up and you'll go forward. So I do want to remind everybody that this coming Tuesday, there is going to be a business webinar that I encourage you to get all of your prospects on. Drive, start, start driving people to the, that type of a, a setting for them to take a look at not only the products, but also the opportunity uh, that we have here at GIA. So with that, again, we really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. So uh, y'all have a fantastic weekend. Take care. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.
Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.